Hi everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new, my name is Ansir and I regularly post videos about Microsoft Office tips as well as Microsoft Excel. So in this video, we'll be discussing how we can implement ChatGPT into Microsoft Excel. So for those of you who don't yet know, ChatGPT is a cutting edge technology which is quite prominent in the media these days and it's used to generate human-like responses to user inputs. ChatGPT is used to create engaging and natural conversations between a user and a chatbot. Let's go ahead and let's see how ChatGPT can work in our favor on our Excel sheet here. So over here, I'm conducting some spend analysis for a business and I have to clean up the data and analyze it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to sort the data based on column C. So column C is business category and I want to sort all of my rows based on column C. We're going to use ChatGPT to tell us how to do this. I'm into ChatGPT here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask it how I can sort my entire data set based on column C. Within about one or two seconds, here's the result that ChatGPT spits out. It tells me that I can go into the data tab, into sort, and I can sort column C and the entire data set will reflect those changes. So let's go ahead and let's implement that into our data set. Okay, so I've arranged my data based on column C here. So as you can see, column C is all organized and arranged based on the business category, and the entire data is sorted by column C. Now, that was easy, but what if we want to do something more complicated? Say we want to highlight the top 10 highest dollar values in column F. How would we do that? Coming back here into Chad GPT, I've asked how I can highlight the 10 highest values in column F. And here's what it tells me. You can either use conditional formatting or you can alternatively use a formula. Now, if I use the formula, I'm going to have to use conditional formatting once again, but it does give me a thorough answer and it tells me that there are different ways of achieving the same method. The underlying purpose of this video is to show you how powerful ChatGPT can be when implemented into Microsoft Excel. Now, I want to do something even more advanced. This time, what I want to do is I want Excel to look at column G, which is my account balance. And if my account balance is greater than $20,000, I want in column I, for me to receive a notification saying that the payment is due. How would I do this? Well, let's go back into ChatGPT and let's see what it suggests. So here we are back in ChatGPT and I've written down my instructions on what I want in column I. So I'll hit enter and let's see what it says. So there we go. It gave me this simple formula which I can use in cell I2 and I can simply drag it down. And since none of the cells are locked, it'll easily drag down and update the corresponding cells. So let me go ahead and copy this and paste it onto my Excel file. So here we are back in Excel. I'll hit Control V and let me paste on that formula into cell I2. Since the table is dynamic, all of the rows automatically paste by themselves and flash fill automatically applies. And as you can see, whenever cell G is greater than $20,000, the corresponding cell in column I automatically tells me that the payment is due. So this was just a quick overview of how powerful ChatGPT can be in order to help you with your Excel work. The practical examples that we went through in this video were quite simple and basic. If you'd like me to put ChatGPT to the test and test out even more complicated Excel work, let me know in the comments down below and we might do that for another video. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.